Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. So go to your profile icon and then click on support over here and then click on gaming services repair tool. Click on start repairing. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This process will take some time. And once the repair is done, now you can launch the uh, try to install the game and then check. Now once done, close this, install the game once again and then check. Still not working, you can run gaming services repair tool from the website. So you can go to Microsoft website. Here you can see gaming services repair tool for PC, Xbox support. Go to the official website and on this page, you have to click on downloadable version. And then scroll down, click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC. And then run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, you will see completed successfully over here. Now once you see completed successfully like this, now you can try to install the game once again and then check. Still not working. The next step is to log out and log in with same account on Xbox app and store. So open Microsoft store at the top right over here. You will see your profile icon. Click on it and then click on if not logged in, you have to log in. In my case, I was not logged in. So make sure that you're logged in and you have to log in with same account. Like you can sign out and then click on sign in. Select the account which has the game pass or which has the game and enter your pin or password over here. Now go to Xbox app profile icon, sign out and then sign in. Select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft store and then click on continue. close uh, let's go now try to install the game and then check still not working make sure date time time zone and region is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on also to set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now make sure that you can click on sync now once done go to time and language language and region make sure your country is selected over here and then check you have to restart xbox app and then check next step is to go to microsoft store library or downloads to install the game now if you can go to store go to downloads if you find the game in the downloads you can try to install the game from here you can even go to library and if you find the game in library you can install it from library and if you're facing problem installing the game from Microsoft Store, in that case, you can use Xbox app to install it. Next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. And let the process complete. This process will take some time. And during the process, you will see some errors in red color. So if you see errors like this in red color, just ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is done, everything will be red. And then you can relaunch Xbox app and store and then check. Still not working. Delete Microsoft Store local cache folder. Now for this, open File Explorer. Go to this PC. Open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open the local folder and then over here, find packages folder and then scroll down, find Microsoft Windows store underscore some alphanumeric character, open this folder. Here you can see local cache folder, make a right click and then click on delete. And once done, now you can try to install the game once again and then check. If you receive any kind of error, just ignore it and relaunch Xbox app. You can just close Xbox app and then relaunch Xbox app and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run WS reset commands. For this, type in WS reset in Windows search box. Click on WS reset. This will reopen Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Xbox app and store. Now for this, Type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app 
and then go to app settings scroll down first of all click on terminate and then click on repair once the repair is done now you can open it open xbox app and then try to install the game still not working click on reset reset and once the reset is done now you can open xbox app and then you can try to install the game and then check still not working the next step is to do the same thing with store so uh, type in store in windows search box make a right click on microsoft store and then go to app settings and then scroll down first of all click on terminate over here and then click on repair once the repair is done now you can check still not working click on reset reset and after the reset you can check still not working the next step is to update store now for this you can open microsoft store on your computer and then go to downloads over here and then click on check for update and if you see update all update everything over here after the update relaunch xbox app or store and then try to install next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website click on download and then open microsoft store and if not install you will see install install button or get option or maybe update option so once installed you can try to install in my case it is already installed next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services now for this you can copy this command this command is provided in the video description copy this type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and make sure that you run powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now once done copy the second command paste it over here hit the enter key and now get option or if you see install option hit install click on yes to allow and let the download complete now uh, once it is 100 percent like complete when it's done only then you can open xbox app reopen xbox app and then you can check now the next step is to start these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and then find find xbox scroll down and at the bottom you will see xbox services make a double click on each xbox services one by one set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again make a double click and then set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok automatic apply start okay click on start if highlighted then click on okay now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay now find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click and then click on start if highlighted or restart and do the same thing with the second gaming services make a right click click on start or restart and then you can check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this you can go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart you can be and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run inet cpl dot cpl so type in inet cpl dot cpl in windows search box and then click on inet cpl dot cpl and then go to advanced tab scroll down make sure use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here and then hit apply apply is important and then you have to relaunch xbox app and store and then check still not working try installing the game to c drive or different drives so go to settings and then install try to install the game to different drive and then check if it is all if you're already trying to install the game to different drive and you're facing the problem in that case you can select c drive from here try to install the game to c drive and then check still not working the next step is to 
yeah the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app and store now for this type in xbox app in windows size box make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall uninstall and once the uninstall is done you, you can go to go to microsoft store now in the search box you can type in xbox app over here and then you can try to install xbox app from here if not installed you will see install button now if that does not work you can install xbox app from the xbox website so you can go to xbox official website and then you can click on download the app and then run this exe file click on uh, you have to click on accept over here and then click on install once the installation is complete uh, you can launch xbox app and then try to install the game once again now still not working in that case you can uninstall and reinstall microsoft store so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then run as administrator make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only paste the command hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store from your computer microsoft store will be gone now once done copy the second command and paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will reinstall microsoft store on your computer and then you can try to install the game still not working the last step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file w once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop click on save over here let the download complete the download will take some time and once this is complete click on finish option over here and then let it close automatically this will take some time maybe seconds to a minute and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow and then next accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can log into the computer and then you can try to open xbox app or store and then try to install the game if you face any problem uh, in that case you can uninstall xbox app and then you can reinstall it from the microsoft website and then you can check so one of the, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.